Got a goal and you just can't hit it? Well, fill up here and we'll help you get it. Learn the Goal Achievement Success System here on Goal Getting Podcast and put some gas in your goals to power you to the finish line. Let's go, friends. Rev up your engines and let's take off for success. Hey, Goal Getters. Welcome back to Goal Getting Podcast. This is your host, Tony Woodall, and I do appreciate you coming by and listening. This is a quote today we're going to be talking about from Brooke Shields. Everybody should know Brooke Shields. If you don't, she's a great actress. I remember her when she was a child star. She's grown up to be a great woman and a very inspirational woman to women especially, but to people in general. I want to talk about this quote because it really resonated with me when I saw it several months ago, and I've been saving this one for a while and decided I wanted to share it with you today. Today's quote from Brooke Shields is, Don't waste a minute not being happy. If one window closes, run to the next window or break down a door. That sounds like Brooke Shields to me. She's broken many doors down in her career to get where she's at. She started as a child actress, worked her way up. She's done some modeling, beautiful woman. She's been very great at inspiring women and girls to live a good life and to be the person that they want to be. And a better thought has not been said than this. You know, life is too short to be unhappy for a minute. You know, you don't want to waste your life, your time on being unhappy. It is up to you, of course, to determine your happiness. If you aren't happy in a situation, you can choose to be happy or remove the unhappiness. As Brooke Shields says, if one window closes, run to the next window. Our life, folks, has many windows. We just have to be prepared to run to the next, and then the next, and then the next, until we get to the happiness that we need. But it's our choice. It's our decision to make to be happy. Sometimes we have to make unpopular and tough choices, but we do have the ability to do that. So don't just stare out the window as if it's, you know, the window of unhappiness. You don't need to stare at it. The view will likely be better somewhere else, so go look for a new window. And what's more... Her further statement is even greater. Just break down a door. When you are unhappy, it's sometimes better to knock down the door to get out of the room or to get into the next room. Don't be afraid to be assertive. If your door won't open for you, knock it down. Now, I really do like that quote from Brooke Shields. As I said, sometimes you do have to knock the doors down to get what you want. You have to be assertive. You have to go after the things that you need to make you happy. Happiness, though, is a choice. It's something that you and you only can decide. If you're not happy, why are you not happy? What are you doing or what's happening that's not making you happy and why doesn't it make you happy? If you can change it, change it. If you can't, then you need to adjust your reason for happiness maybe. Or, you know, maybe you're just not happy in that particular situation and you need to knock down a door and go somewhere else or at least look in a different window. I want to thank you for listening to Goal Getting Podcast. It really does mean a lot to me. And I want you to know that I've been going through some transitions in life. And as I do this, I started thinking about my original goal for the podcast. The original goal of our podcast was to provide tips, strategies, and inspiration to goal getters. I had originally set up the podcast as a weekly edition with the intent at that point of sharing the lessons of my goal achievement success system and to interview expert guests that had achieved success in areas of their life that you, the goal getters, might be working on for yourself. Well, I started an experiment of July of last year providing goal getting quote of the day. It was very well received and I had a lot of you start following me because of that edition. And I do want to thank you for that. I really do enjoy providing great inspirational quotes. The frequency went from one day a week to seven days a week, with one day being the weekly lesson or interview. Well, with my career change that I made in September, which you may have heard me talk about on the show, it it really was one of my goals that I had. And I set that goal a couple years ago, and I achieved it two years sooner than I had expected. And my schedule since then has gotten much busier at work. I really love what I'm doing. I'm having a great time. We've got a great project that we're working on. And it has gotten very hectic trying to complete the schedules that I have at work, home, podcasting, and everything else. So 
you know, I took a winter break to start season two, which would be longer segments focusing on a quote and a longer lesson to go along with that quote. And I wanted the podcast to stay less than 20 minutes if I could. Well, with this new transition and the increased workflow at the office, um, which is, again, is a good thing. I like it. And my work on wellness goal, which I'm very committed to. I'm really working on getting my health in better shape and working on my wellness. I've actually lost about 10 pounds so far. So I'm down to, uh, just over 225 pounds. So I'm excited about that. I'm starting to look and feel a little bit better, but I haven't been able to take the time to go to the gym as much as I want to without getting up you know, freakishly early at oh dark thirty four o'clock in the morning and going to the gym, which just wears me out by the time I get, you know, later on in the day. And, you know, trying to do all that and get everything going has just really uh, put a lot of stress on my body, a lot of stress on my mind. And I realized that I really have to go back to the original plan of the podcast. I really, that was my goal was to do one thing and now I've kind of, you know, that's one of the problems we have as goal getters. We start focusing on too many goals, too many things that we try to focus on. We need to have our goals. We need to set them, but you need to focus on the key ones that are going to get you where you want to in your main goal strategy. Mine being work on wellness this year. And that is my primary goal, my high priority, because it will help me do a lot of things. The goal-getting quote of the day was not a priority. It was a cool thing, and I loved doing it, and I love providing it to you because it did help increase our listenership, and I do appreciate it if that's what made you come to join us. I hope uh, you will stay if we do go back to this. I will revert, well, not if we do. I am going back to and reverting back to the original one show per week beginning in May. This week and next, I'm going to be doing three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and I hope that I'll be able to get those finished this week and next week. Again, my schedule is starting to pick up at work. Um, Again, I've got a transition I'm going through here, which maybe I'll explain later. But, you know, that's my goal for the next two weeks. I hope you understand, and I really do hope you will continue to support Goal Getting Podcasts. I'd love to hear what you think. You know, you can put your comments in the comments section on our show notes page at goalgettingpodcast.com forward slash S2E36, S2E36. Again, I do thank you. This is your host, Tony Woodall, with Goal Getting Podcast. Check out our other episodes. If you need something to listen to, we've got great episodes out on the show. I want you to, you know, if you come to the website, we've got all of our episodes there on iTunes and Stitcher. They only keep like the last hundred or so. I'm thinking about doing an archive of the earlier episodes and putting those out as well. But I want you to enjoy the show. I want to provide value for you. And I'm going to start going back to interviewing very important expert guests to get their feedback on different topics, their experience, their successes, how they did it. And I will start doing that. But I'm going to have to go back to one day a week starting in May. Thank you so much for listening to Goal Getting Podcast. Go out and make today a great day.